Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a quick little starter guide on Hunter x Hunter Ultimate Finale on Roblox. So as you guys know, this game is on beta. It costs 200 Robux to play. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a little starter guide on it, alright? So, if you guys cop this game and watch this video to the end, you're going to find out how you could play this game well. And you're going to know how to level up and hit max by like a day. So... As soon as you guys hop into this game, you guys are going to spawn around here and you're going to see some guy named Netero, alright? So, if you talk to him, he's going to tell you the basics of the game, but it's kind of long and boring to read. So, I'm just going to go ahead and explain everything you guys need to know. So, basically, the first thing you guys need to know is the quest guide, alright? So, if you press J on your keyboard, it's going to show you all the quests where, like from what you need to start with and what you need to finish with. So, the first quest you guys got to do is called uh, Leonardo's Quest. So basically, the way you find this quest is if you press L on your keyboard, this little menu is going to pop up and it's going to show you the characters. So Leonardo's right there. I'm going to go ahead and run some real quick. And then, yeah, that's the first quest. So you literally just go ahead, press L again to turn it off, and you go ahead and talk to him. I already completed this quest, so it won't let me talk to him. But if you guys are new to the game, you could go ahead, click on him, and he'll tell you the first quest. And then you go ahead and do that quest. And then that's your first one. And then. You basically just keep progressing like that. Like if you press J on your keyboard, it will show you the quest guide. And then the next quest was Michael on the thing, right? So it says Michael's quest. So as soon as you guys finish Leonardo's one, and his quest is like picking up money or something, if I remember clearly. That was his first quest. The next one, as soon as you guys finish that, go ahead and run to Michael. If you press L on your keyboard once again, it will show you Michael. You go ahead and run to him and do his quest. So basically how leveling and quests work on this game is just basically you follow the quest guide the game provides you. So if you press J once again, it will show you the quest you got to do. And L shows you where the quest giver is. So you just follow those. Like once again, I can't talk to this guy because I already finished this quest. But you guys get the point, right? So this is how the quest guides work. You start with Leonardo, you go to Michael, and you just keep progressing off that list until you're done all the quests at this island. So this is the beginner island again. So you guys go ahead and do that. So that's how the basics of the quest work. Now I'm going to show you guys some menu stuff. So if you press M on your keyboard, you're going to get this menu to pop up. So basically, the most two important things on this menu is your stats and your skills, all right? So if you guys go ahead and press stats, it's going to show you your stats. So on stats, is going to show you what energy affinity you have basically in, in hunter x hunter they call this uh nan type so my nan type is enchantment my hot suit is big bang impact so you guys could go ahead and check what stuff you have and over here it shows you your stat point so every time you level up by doing those quests you guys could go ahead and put your stat points in all right next thing is skills so when you click on skills and then go on ability, it's going to show you your Hatsu skills. So these are my Hatsu skills. I have enchantment and my Hatsu is called Big Bang Impact. So these are all of my things. If you guys have a clan, your clan is going to have moves as well. So my clan has these moves and uh, combat. So these are combat moves that anybody could have. So anybody, like no matter what Hatsu type or what Hatsu you have, you guys could go ahead and get this, any of these moves because it's for everybody. And yeah, so that's combat. But something that depends on your Hatsu and Hatsu type is this. So as you guys can see right there, it says best for emitters. So if you guys want to see what Hatsu type you have to check this, you literally go on your stats. Like I have enchantment, right? So I'm, I'm going to have to get skills on energy fundamentals that only need enchant enchantment so this one is for conjurers so if you guys are conjurers you could go for that move um this one's for transmuters so it all depends so if you guys want to check which one you have you literally just go on your stats so oh right here this one's for me it says best for enchanters and manipulators so i could literally get this move at level 89 and this is basically it guys so that's how your skills work energy fundamentals you need you have to get the recommended uh nen type uh, otherwise it wouldn't work for you combat anybody could get it and then on over this on this section it's basically just like random things like energy jump counter first focus swift uh, all that kind of stuff all right so those are the two important things you guys need to know um if you guys want to know the codes i have another video made on that it's in the 
description of my video but anyways those are the two thing two imp most important things you guys need to know on the menu you open menu by pressing m if you guys didn't hear me and yeah so getting into like combat basics um all you guys gotta need all you guys need to know as the beginner is your m1 combo so this is by l clicking uh on the left of your mouse you guys do this little combo you guys could infinite combo with this if you time it right you could literally just go behind enemies and just rush at them with this also if you have shift lock on and you right click you guys do this little like super hot to punch and it knocks your enemy back so these are a few things you guys need to keep in the back of your mind while playing it's not going to be too hard to land these and if you guys press v on your keyboard you guys could see i have some nen aura going around my body this nen aura gives you like a little advantage in fights but the thing that i don't like about it is it drains your stamina a bit but i mean you could only you could have it off while you're moving around but let's say you get in a battle just press v on your keyboard and your nen aura is going to turn on i mean personally it just looks dope i like how it looks and yeah so this is your yen or belly whatever they call it in this game it's your money so you buy stuff with that there's different islands press k on your keyboard and it shows you what islands you are so this starter island is called whale island level 1 to 17 um so it just tells you what islands and what islands need what so we're on whale island you stay here until like level 17 i guess and then yeah if you guys want to know where the quests are again just press l and it's pretty much self-explanatory after that so that's it guys that's the starter guide if you guys have enjoyed this video please subscribe like and hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys on the next one